Well, 75 year old Ellen Oso is tired and a little shaken up. And here's the thing. Her family says the tree that in their front yard uh, almost killed her has not yet been removed. Ellen Oso was just sitting in her bed when this happened. A tree came crashing down during the storm, pinning her inside. She's smiling in this hospital photo today, happy to be OK. Her granddaughter, Tamika Mullet, was home at the time and ran to help. There was a loud boom, sort of like a bomb going off, and the house shook. I felt really overwhelmed. It was very scary. There was a lot of dust, a lot of debris. Uh, the rain was still pouring down on my grandma and me. The tree was too heavy to lift off of Ellen. Tamika held her grandmother's hand while waiting for paramedics to arrive. They were able to pull her out safely. Part of a tree branch had cut her right leg. She's paralyzed on her right side, so she has no feeling on that side of her body. I'm pretty sure she was just in shock. She was uh, just really upset about what had happened. Now the family is left with no home and a huge mess to clean up. Ellen's daughter flew from Los Angeles to see what she could do to help. I'm really glad that my mother is safe, but I'm also really uh, uncertain right now about how we're going to be able to pull through this um, because my mom doesn't have the finances. You know, she's been retired for 12 years um, and we don't have the finances.